Hi, John Refrano here with another Vegas tutorial. This time we're going to take a look at Boris FX Boris Continuum Complete 7 for Vegas Pro 10. That's right, BCC 7 is now available for Vegas Pro 10. If you haven't seen it yet, go to the Boris FX website, www.borisfx.com, select uh, BC 7 for Vegas Pro, and download the free trial because this is going to knock your socks off. Continuum and Complete right in Vegas Pro 10. What we're going to look at today. Uh, is how to use motion tracking. Some folks have heard that it can do motion tracking and they tried doing motion tracking and they couldn't figure it out. It's actually simple once you, uh, once you understand uh, the basic mechanics. So what I'm going to do is uh, drop a video file on the timeline uh, in Vegas Pro 10 and we're just going to watch it. You'll see it's a motorcycle weaving back and forth and what I want to do is I want to use motion tracking uh, to track an effect to that motorcycle. Uh, so let's start out with um, taking BCC7 and putting it on the, uh, the event here. You notice there are tons of effects in BCC7. Uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, let's look at Sparks. Okay, and if I just add the Sparks effect, uh, and we'll play it here, you'll see it's just these Sparks going off on the screen. And what I want to do is use uh, something a little more exciting. Uh, there is a space travel, which is more like a time warp. Right? Now the problem with this here is the time warper is coming out of the middle of the screen. What I want it to do is I want it to track that motorcycle. Uh, so I'm going to move my cursor back to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to go down and use the motion tracker. So uh, down here at the bottom it says motion tracker and there's only a couple things you have to know. One is you want to turn on track on the fly. As soon as track on the fly is turned on you'll see there's this little indicator of what we're going to be tracking. Uh, and actually the next thing you want to open up is the track center keyframe and move that right to where you want to track. So I'm going to move that to the middle of the number on that motorcycle that I want to track. And then I want to take my target width and search width and make them a little bit wider. So the search width is the area that it's going to search. You notice that's getting bigger. Uh, and the target is where it's going to look for motion. And you don't want that motion to go outside of that search area. So I'm making it kind of uh, large because this, this motorcycle is going back and forth kind of fast. Now that's it. Once you've got it set up, track on the fly, center your tracker, uh, change the width, then all you have to do is play the clip. So I'm going to play it from the start and watch it track. Here it goes back and forth. It's pretty much dead on. You can see at the bottom the green keyframes uh, that are showing me that everything is tracking fine. So that's all there is to tracking. Now I can turn off track on the fly and decide what do I want to apply this motion data to. Uh, and so I go down to apply and say I want to apply it to the producer XY, the XY of this effect. And now when I play it you'll notice the effect is coming from the center of the motorcycle at all times. Right? So I essentially track these, track these uh, sparks right onto that one point of the motorcycle. Let's do this again with uh, something a little bit more popular. A lot of times you may need to blur out uh, a logo on a t-shirt or something. Let's say I needed to uh, blur out that number. Uh, so let me remove uh, sparks. This time I'll select the pyramid blur. And we're going to do the same thing with the motion tracker in the pyramid blur. So I'll open up motion tracker. Select track on the fly. Open up the tracker center. Place it over the numbers I want to track. Uh, make the search width larger and the target that I want to track a little larger and then click play from the beginning. Well, oh, we lost the track there. So uh, hang on, let's get this back to the back to the beginning. I'm going to reset the tracker, clear the render cache, turn it off and uh, back on again. And then we'll move this blur over and I think I'll make the, uh, the areas a little bit bigger this time. and we'll start again. That seems to be working a little better. Okay, and now that that's tracked we can turn off track on the fly. And again we have to decide what we want to apply it to and in this case the only option is pixel chooser. So I apply it to the pixel chooser then I come down and turn the pixel chooser on and go to the pixel chooser region which defaults to all. 
and we're going to make it inside oval because I just want to have uh, a small oval cover the uh, cover the numbers and I'm going to make the size a little bit smaller for the oval there and now let's play it you'll watch it'll snap to those numbers and there you go I've blurred out the numbers on that uh, bike and that could have been a logo on a t-shirt or uh, or anything so uh, there you have it motion tracking with Boris Continuum Complete 7 for Vegas Pro 10 can't beat it once again I'm John Refrano thanks for watching